Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy The Real Zion Horton here and today I'm going to show y'all basically like my day in the life towards firefighting. Um, I'm a firefighter in training basically, you know, um, I'm in school. So most firefighters, they're requiring you now to get certified in EMT because most of the calls are medical calls that you run on. So um, as far as Madonna, a thing of that nature, I was going for my bachelor's degree, but uh, I'm switching my method up. You know, I'm still going to get my bachelor's degree, but it's going to be over time. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm going to take my EMT classes and get certified in that because I take my CPAT test. That's a physical exam that all firefighters are required to take. I take that in August. It's July 1st now. So that's in the next month. And then after that, except, uh, I would say September. Yeah, September, I'm going to take the the written exam. I haven't paid for the written exam yet. Uh, I'm still studying for it, you know, but I'm going to take that September. That way, you know, hey, okay, I took the physical and written and I'm certified EMT. You know, on, after that, only thing I have to do is I can go to the fire academy on my own, like Schoolcraft, College, Macomb, uh, some, you know, I think Oakland has one. They have their own fire academies or I can get hired at a department and they can take me through their own fire academy. Uh, most likely, I'll be going through the Detroit Fire Academy. Um, I know a couple people there. Um, real great people, man. Real great people. But uh, yeah, man. So today is basically I'm just going to show y'all, you know, day in the life of what I do towards, you know, me being a firefighter and trainer. Uh, so I'm up now. Um, I got some good sleep. Today is my day off work. And um, just be ready to rock and roll me, man. All right, y'all. So I'm about to just show y'all a little bit. As you can see already this morning, I was up. You know, watching firefighter videos again. I'm like I said, I'm up now, but you know, when I first woke up, you know, I was this is what I do. I was watching, you know, firefighter videos. Uh, my bed is actually made up, by the way. It's just those are covers, those are, you know, extra blankets and stuff. Sometimes I get to the point where I don't get in the bed, I sleep on the bed and just use a cover if that makes sense. If you know, you know. Uh, this is my actual, this is actual bunker gear or turnout gear. It doesn't really matter what you call it. Bunker gear or turnout gear. It was given, given to me by the Detroit Fire Department. Um, it was for my 21st birthday. My parents did something for my birthday. And, uh, this gear is, is way bigger than me, by the way. Just to let you know, it doesn't fit me, but I still use it to train with, you know. Uh, that way, you know, when I go to the fire academy, I at least know how to throw on my gear as quick as possible i want to be the best one and you know fastest one at the academy when i go to it so you know you had a jacket which is was used in a really bad fire um i washed it and everything in the pants as well so that's my bunker gear turnout gear and um go over here this this my gaming set i got my chair you know what i'm saying got my stuff i eat and things like that you know team xbox all the way but that's not what this video is about have my bible jesus first god first always do my Bible study, and uh, I just read it. And this is the study guide for the written exam. Now, the questions in here are literally not going to be the ones on the written exam, but they're similar. It'll really help. Uh, so I always study this and uh, just, you know, scroll through it, show you a couple things. I have some things highlighted. As you can see right here, it says, do not memorize the practice questions and answers provided in this book. Any question that has been released will not be used again. You may run into questions that will be very similar to ones provided in this guide, but you will not be tested on any of these exact questions. So uh, I'm going to try to find like, you know, practice questions for you. So here's one, for example. We can start right here. Questions one through three are based on the passages below. So it's a passage I have to read and then it's based off that. So question number one says, how much how much time elapsed between the how much time elapsed between the time that engine 13 arrived at the scene and the time that the driver of the compact car was freed from the car? So basically what I do is anytime I do tests like this, I always read the question first to see what I'm looking for. Then I go back in the passage to find it. That way, you know, that helps me with my, you know, the best answer. And uh, I'm going to sit that right there. Right here, it, this is just my... um. My notebook with all my firefighter notes. I take this on my own. You know, it's always, I always say, is you don't want to walk into a test or a quiz not knowing anything. You know, you should, you should at least already want to learn yourself. You know what I'm saying? So I always teach myself. So all this stuff I did on my own. You know, the types of class of fires you have. You have a class A fire, a class B fire, a class C, a D, and a K. Um, a class A is ordinary solid combustibles, a class B is a flammable liquid or gas, class C is electrical fire, a class D combustible metal fire, and a class K is considered as a cooking fire slash kitchen fire, and these are the symbols. So if you see any of these symbols on a fire extinguisher, you know which fire extinguisher you have. And these again, these are just a couple more of my notes of different type of firefighting jobs you have. 
uh, you know, with his heat transfer, you know, there are two different types of heats, you know, you got conduction, convection, convection, radiation, all that stuff, you know, I have, it's so much of my notes in here that I have that, again, I study and take on my own, and I also have this huge packet uh, that, I, that I study with, it's quite, you know, simple to me now because I've, I've, I've always studied it and I've always been studying uh but yeah so you know I really this is something I really want to do I love firefighting man you know and I'm not even a firefighter yet but you know I, I teach myself I try to learn myself you know some days when I'm just chilling you know uh I may just you know study a couple notes now every day you know I try to take a break so it doesn't overwhelm me so some days you know I might again study real hard and some days I'm on the game but yeah, man, so today, uh, y'all gonna roll with me to the gym. I'm gonna show y'all my workouts I do just to get ready, you know, stay in shape for firefighting because all firefighters are required to work out an hour a day, you know, because this job, you, you have to be fit for the job, you know. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna take y'all to the gym with me, show y'all what I do to just, you know, get fit and stay in shape for firefighting and, um, yeah. All right, y'all, and believe it or not, this is like my third time recording this. I had to re-record because I had to free up some space on my phone. But I just wanted to show y'all some of the stuff I got in my room, too. Uh, this is a fire toy fire truck my auntie got me for my 21st birthday. And I love it, man. Look at that. Yeah, I love it, man. That junk hard, ain't it? Yeah. It's another button, too. Hold on. Look at that. Yeah. Ooh. I was hyped when she gave me this, man. I was hyped, dog. I was hyped. And right here is something I wrote a while back. Y'all can pause the video and read it if y'all want to, or I'm gonna try to hold it for right, like right here a couple seconds and scroll down to where y'all can, you know what I'm saying? And then right here, I have a picture of Jesus Christ with a firefighter. His picture is very powerful to me. You know, Jesus is, he's with everyone. You know, so I know he's always going to be with me and my future brothers in the fire. And I know he's with all first responders right now to this day. You know, police officers, firemen, doctors, you know, paramedics, everyone. And here's the fireman's prayer. You can guys can pause the video and read it. Or I'm going to try to hold it right here a couple seconds to get y'all a chance to read it. And then you come over here to this wall. John 15, 13, side of the Bible. It's a scripture. Greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And then right here, you have a picture from the movie Backdraft, one of my favorite movies. But again, yeah, man, I'm going to see y'all at the gym and show y'all what I do to stay fit as a firefighter and just to stay fit in general. I like to work out. But I'm going to see y'all there. We're going to get to it in. Cheer! All right, y'all, so we at the gym now. About to walk up in here, change, and we about to get it in. So let's get it.
right, y'all. I appreciate y'all, you know, you feel me for rolling with me today. I appreciate y'all for whoever tuned in all the way since the beginning. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, some of my workouts I couldn't record because the weight, like, the, the workouts I was doing, it was nobody to hold the camera a certain way so you wouldn't be able to see me. And also, um, storage-wise on my phone. So, but yeah, but most of the stuff I was able to get. So, you basically, you know, I got to see, you know, some of the stuff I do, you know, as far as me training to become a firefighter. But, uh, you know, always remember, thank you, Jesus, for allowing us to see another beautiful day. Put Always put God first. And just, again, like, comment, subscribe. I love y'all. I'm proud of y'all. And I'm out this thing.